Neil Walk misses, and Bellamy rebounds. Clears ahead to Maravich. He goes home free. Maravich on the layup, and inside it goes to Hawkins to Dick Van Arsdale. It is blocked by Walter Bellamy. Cleared out to Maravich, and the Hawks in blue on the move. Bellamy missed it. Whistle stops the action. Points a game out of Indiana. He missed a pair, and Maravich goes to the corner for the rebound. That's Hazard. And ball game. 9-10 to go, first quarter. Maravich and Haskin. Now 4 to the Suns lead. Pistol feet for the ball. Being checked out in front by Haskin. Inside, blocked by Bridges on Haskin's shot. Hudson couldn't control it. Hazard. A 9 to 8 ball game. The Suns by one. And Haskin is short with his shot. Bellamy clears. Here goes Maravich. Van Arsdale and Haskins get. Bill Bridges to Maravich. Here's Maravich with the ball. Watch the body control that he has. He hangs in the air almost. Making a move on Haskins. Going up, double clutching. Holding on to the ball. Great body control in the air. Nice move by Pete Maravich. Atlanta has been zipped in three tries. Maravich three out of six in the field so far in the game. We're in the second quarter. Here's the hook by big number 31, Bob Christie. Oh, he's a big, strong seven-footer. He sets a pick for Maravich. We have 7.24 to eight points. Taylor loses to Pete. He's tough. 45-31. Phoenix rebound to Hazard. Maravich. Now he's a vital part of the Atlanta offense. In the penalty, wow. he has 11 points. Connie Hawkins is on the bench with three fouls picked up early in the game. Maravich feeds inside to Jim Davis. Great pass. Maravich against Van Arsdale from the baseline. He has 14. Maravich from the top of the key. Follows and rebounds. Inside, Bellamy. They have three personal. Rebound is outside. Hudson, right place, right time. Bellamy! There's Pete Maravich with the ball, hesitating to let Bellamy get down on the fast break. Good move by Walter Bellamy. Nice pass by Pete Maravich. Third quarter. Maravich. Checked by Haskins, leaves to Hudson. Paul Silas on Hudson. Inside Maravich for a hook. So the three-point play eludes him, and Atlanta comes down. Maravich. He's hot. Hawkins up for the rebound. Can't control it. It's Maravich. Go down for him. Bridges rebounds it. Clears to Hudson to Maravich. Maravich against Van Arsdale. Dick falls down. For oh, Haskins. Now let's see if Maravich can stir up the Hawks again. Haskins checking Maravich. Bellamy looks inside. Nobody there. And that's Maravich. He has 15. 104 to 93. And Maravich. It'll be one shot for Maravich. Free for a shot that rebounds out deep to Pete Maravich. With 7.05 to go on the ball game. 106-95 Phoenix, that's Hazard. Atlanta's in a dry spell, but Bridges inside on 110-97 Phoenix, Maravich. He's has four, all Phoenix. Short. Look at that Silas inside. Taylor again, slapped out of there this time. And the Hawks have it. Three on two. Hudson gets it. persevering publicist Herb Brodsky who's watching is with us to the NFL football and Jack Twyman prepared a special feature on Pete Maravich I think you'll enjoy some of the moves of Maravich and some of the comments of my colleague Jack Twyman <laughs> typical of all his qualities is a play in Phoenix here number 10 Fred Taylor knocks the ball away from Pete his fast reflexes enable him to make a great recovery but then he goes in 
and forces a shot and misses it. Yet, on another night, Pete will take the same impossible shot and make it. Here in San Francisco, Pete takes a long shot and misses, but it doesn't discourage him. A few moments later, we see him use teammate Jimmy Davis, number 24, to shake loose from Al Adels. He heads back for the exact same spot and fires again. This time, two points. Like all great scorers, Pete is hungry for the ball and hungry to shoot, but he's hitting a better and better percentage as the season progresses. In super slow motion, it seems that Pete has gone too far beyond the backboard to make this shot. Yet you'll notice Pete has learned to follow up his own shot, even though here it's good. Pete and his teammates are still learning to play with one another. Sometimes it's utter frustration, like here with Walter Bellamy. And other times, the result is a sensational play, as here with Jerry Chambers. Another lesson Pete's learning, cross-court passes are easy to intercept. He's also learning he doesn't own that basketball court. Fans thrilled just to see Pete dribbling, changing from one hand to the other. It's a show all by itself coming down court. But his style can cause him trouble, especially in heavy traffic and against a six-year pro like Wally Jones of Philadelphia right here. He has much to learn on defense, but his quick reaction and ability make up for many of his defensive errors. But the pure enjoyment for pro and fan alike is watching Pistol Pete shoot the basketball. It's a time for learning for Pete Maravich and his teammates. He's learning to play as a pro. They're learning his styles. And more and more of Pete's scoring comes on team play like this play we see here. A scene that will become increasingly familiar to fans of the NBA. Maravich of the Hawks scoring two points. Pete, we talked at uh, halftime of your first game as a pro, and uh, now this is game number 35. What are you doing uh, differently, if anything? Well, differently, Jack, I believe uh, that I've uh, gotten in the lineup a lot more. I'm, I'm starting now, and uh, the reason for this, I guess, uh, we're moving the ball up a lot better. We've improved our record from, uh, I think we were about 7 and 22. Now we've got up to 12 and 23, which is not, not too good, except that uh, we're only about two, two games behind uh, Cincinnati in our division, so uh, that's what we're looking forward to, and uh, we just hope to, to just keep improving. Pete, I made the point in the first half that you're figuring more into the Atlanta offense. You're the hub of the offense. Is this what you and Richie Guerin are trying to do, get you more into the offense? Well, I think we just try to keep everybody in the offense. Uh, we want to try to keep all our big men happy and, uh, you know, that, that you have to do this. And uh, our main uh, thing is just to try to run as much as we can, and when we don't have the shot, to try to set up one of our big men. Pete, how about defensively? The uh, Suns have been running you into double and triple picks. Uh, has that been a problem for you in the first 35 games of your pro career? Well, I've been running into a lot of picks, and I've gotten all my knocks. I've had about 10 stitches so far this season. I'm sure I'll get a lot more, but uh, the main thing on these, uh, what, we, what we're going to try to do is just try to switch more often uh, because they do do a lot of, uh, you know, cutting off their centers and their forwards. How about this Atlanta ball club? You're 12 and uh, 23. Do you think that you can turn it around, so to speak, and do you have the kind of a ball club that can be a factor in the last half of the season? Definitely, I think so. I think we are coming of age right now. We've won uh, six of our last eight games, and... Uh, I think that uh, we are about 75% of our schedule is at home in January, so this is definitely an advantage for us. So we're just looking forward to, you know, the new year and everything and try to, you know, try to get things going again. Fine, Pete. Thank you very much. Thank you, Jay. Fine. Now let's go back to Keith.